It was about 2006, and one night before Halloween, my family was having a huge party that night, and the house was, I kid you not, littered with drunk adults in costumes. But that's not where the creepiness lies. The creepiness happened outside of the house, within the dark shadows of my neighborhood. It was late, and everybody was partying, except for, of course, my older sister and I. My sister had some friends over, and we were all goofing around online. Remember Omigo? Yup, that's where we spent most of our time. Bored of being dumb online, we all decided to venture out down the block to the near 7-Eleven for some ice cream and soda, which we ran out of the house. Being convincing, we got our drunk family to allow us to walk down the street. For many reasons, that wasn't a good idea. We were all dressed up in our costumes, laughing our way down the blackened streets. It was completely dark and empty out, save for the shine of the moon. A few minutes into our walk, we noticed that the street in front of us was being lit up by the beams of the headlights. A car was approaching, and it was approaching really slowly. We giggled it off, joking it was a creep. Why joke about something true though? Suddenly the car made a sharp turn, and it was coming straight for us. Our white and eyes lit up in the high beams. We all took off running. Without thinking twice, we ran as fast as we could, and drove into some nearby bushes trying hard to quiet our breathing. Through the bushes, we could see the slow approaching lights of the car again. This time, we heard a male's voice coming from the inside of the vehicle. Woe's windows were rolled down. Fuck, where did they go? They were right there. Turn around, idiot. Keep looking. The car turned around slowly, creeping its way back to the street. We stayed hiding for what felt like forever before finally deciding to run back home, ditching the ice cream and the soda plant. Miraculously, we all made it home in one piece and booked it back downstairs to the den, far away from any cars. They were probably just some group of guys trying to spook kids, but the fact that we could have been abducted that Halloween Eve still scares me to this day. I feel like the luckiest dumb kid ever. I am a 20 year old female, live in a small town and go to college about 30 minutes away from the main town that people go and get the groceries other than what the Dollar General has. My friends and I often take an important trip to town late at night for a cookout or to Walmart. This night was just me and my friend Lisa, 20 at the time, going to Walmart and looking at the Halloween stuff. While there, we goofed off a bit, trying on masks and talking about different costumes that we could make. We were looking at the candy and I felt an eerie feeling. At first, I thought it was my anxiety, so I got Lisa just to move into the book section a few aisles back. We were at different ends of the aisles and I got the same feeling. I looked up from the book I had and looked around when I saw a man on the end closest to Lisa, seemingly looking at something at a display, but he gave me bad vibes. I got closer to Lisa and got her to follow me back, up to the front where the period products and makeup were. We got there, and once again, I saw him standing next to the fake nails. I then picked up a random bath bomb, and then dragged her into the back of the store, where the milk was, and he followed us there. We made our way quickly, through a few food aisles, and to the self-checkout where we checked out and went outside. I had us both run to my car, locked us in, because I could see him walking towards us. I started my car and drove as fast as I could, so he wouldn't see my college sticker on my window. Thankfully, we made it all the way back to campus without being pulled over or having any cars behind us for more than a few seconds. When I was 18, I started my first job at Spirit Halloween, a seasonal Halloween store. It was my first job, so I was excited and eager to work, finally making my own money for college. Because it's a seasonal location, as you can imagine, management was pretty disorganized. I didn't know half of the staff, scheduling was a mess, and I pretty much picked up shift when I wanted to work, and they always needed the help. One day, I'm in the break room about to head back to the sales floor when a manager I hadn't met yet came in. He started asking me questions about my name, age, what I was studying in school, etc. and insisted that I stay on break a little longer and sat down to drink a Red Bull with him. We sat down and he proceeded to brag me about how when he was younger he used to work on movie sets and used to be in production. The entire conversation revolved around him, trying to impress me with all these stories. I thought it was weird, but I never had a job before, so... I just thought he was making conversations with me. After our conversation, we went back on the sales floor and I noticed he would guide me over the section to work on by touching the small of my back 
and making suggestive comments that slowly started to make me feel uncomfortable. Later that shift, I asked him for his email so that when the season ended, I needed to apply for other jobs so I could have his contact information. He told me to send him a text with my full name so he knows who it was. I texted him when we were still at the store and I didn't think anything much of it. That night after work, I was laid up doing homework when he texted me back throughout the night. He kept texting my conversationally unrelated to work. At this point, my alarms were going off that this seems highly inappropriate. My 45 year old manager is trying to talk to me at 1am outside of work. I stopped responding and left it at that. Later on, I went on Facebook and realized that when he had me text him my full name, he used it to look me up and try to add me as a friend. The next time when I went to work, I planned to try to avoid him as much as possible. However, as soon as I got there, he came up to me and started asking me questions about whether I drank or smoke, stating that we should do it together sometime. This man literally told me that I should come over to his house and I could teach him to roll up and that we should get high on our break together. Mind you, he's 45 and I'm 18. At this point, I knew that he knew what he was doing was inappropriate because he would only make this kind of conversation when we were alone. Anytime co-workers or other managers were around, he would stop. So I tried my best to keep around with other co-workers. This shift though, he pulled me away from my normal section and told me he had a special task I had to help him with. He takes me to the back of the store where we keep inventory and had to help him start marketing down some items. I was on very high alert because we were alone in the back of the store where there were no cameras. Again, he keeps making comments about how we should hang out and continues to tell me stories about old jobs he used to have in his youth to try to impress me. Eventually he tells me all about the cool Halloween decorations he sets up in his front house and he wanted to show me a photo of it. He pulls out his phone and opens his camera roll. As I'm looking at the phone waiting for him to find a photo, I noticed something familiar in his camera roll. His most recent photo was a photo of me staring back at me. He screenshotted my Facebook profile photo and just had it sitting there in his camera roll. I gasped as a reaction and tried to hide my surprise because at this point I was just creeped out to the max. He made some weird comment about how I was just so beautiful that he couldn't help himself and I felt disgusted. I didn't confront him about how off-putting that was because I was just in shock. I texted all my friends about what happened and they all agreed that that was horribly inappropriate. The remainder of working there that season consisted of him hitting on me and continued to make me uncomfortable. Because it was a seasonal job, I didn't report at him because it's not like we had an HR department. And as I got closer to Halloween, I knew we weren't going to fire him when we needed workers. I just tried to avoid him as much as possible, but he continued to text me and tried to talk to me every time I win. Looking back, it makes me so sad that my first ever experience working a job was spent trying to avoid advancements from my manager, 30 years older than me. I'm just grateful that I trusted my gut about him 